Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another super secret ninja class tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to embed and look at pictures in audio files. Right here I've got this noise loop. So as you can tell, it's just an industrial slash mechanical slash computer sound noise type thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, if you go into RX or any other spectrograph programs that I have links on the, the blog post, but and you go over to the spectrograph, you can see that the super secret Ninja Class logo is hidden there in the background and it's perfectly visible. It looks really good. If we look at the audio file that I put together, inside of Ableton Live, it just has the noise loop and then the audio file generated from my logo superimposed on top of it. And to make the picture a little clearer here at the end, all I did was fade out the other loop a little bit quicker on the end there. But you can do this with anything you do with text, you can do it with full pictures. It's actually really easy and pretty cool. So let's, let's find out how to do it. First thing you wanna do is download the program. Again, links on the blog to something called coagulolite.exe. It's for Windows. I don't know if it works for Macs. And go ahead and open it up. And it doesn't install anything, it just runs right from the EXE, so you're good to go. And what you're going to want to do is have a bitmap image, which is a BMP image. So what I did was went into Photoshop and just made a bitmap image of a landscape style. So this is the way to do it without it being all scrunched up at the end. You want the image to be a landscape or much wider than taller and that way it will, won't look all bunched up in the spectrograph. So I, this is 900 by 300 and I think that looks pretty good. It doesn't do too much warping there. But anyway, what we're gonna do is import that into Coagula. So I'm gonna go to open image, open a bitmap file. It's the only file it's gonna accept and I'm gonna find the landscape one that I wanted. I'm gonna open it up. And there it is, it looks good. And I'm gonna come over to render options. I have it at 300 hertz, but I think it comes stuck at 50. That seems a little low to me, but I, I don't know. I just think this works better. I'm not sure what it does. And I also went up to 11,000 hertz on the top then, or 11K. And I just hit render and I'm gonna make sure your speakers are turned down because the noise is not pleasant. Okay, so there's that, and then I close out of here, and then I'm gonna go to sound, and I'm gonna say render without blue, and it's gonna give us that high-pitched, machine-y kind of sound. Cool, and then what we can do is file, save sound as, and I'm gonna just say tutorial. Okay, and then if I come into RX and open it, here it is, the Ninja Landscape tutorial, and I open it up, and boom, there it is. It looks pretty good. And that's what it sounds like, and everything is pretty sweet. And you can bring that into Ableton, and you can mask that as much as you want. You just gotta be careful if your frequencies of the new audio are interacting with the frequencies of the image audio, then it will mask the image, or they'll blend together and just won't look right. So you wanna be a little bit careful about that. But anyway, that's how you do it. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.